Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're in Tiragard Sound continuing our quests. We've come down here to the coast to hand in the quest to Doc Master Tyndall about the missing manifest and he's got something for us to continue on with so let's see where he wants us to go. A letter to the League. A researcher at the resort up the hill was hoping to get a letter out to a group called the Explorers League. He claims that they have a camp set up near some old Drust ruins at the other side of the Sound. There's no official station, so it will have to be delivered by hand. If you happen to head in that direction, can you take it with you? Find the Explorers League members at the Thovas base camp. Oh, now I think that's at the opposite end of the take sound, so we'll sandals. have that one in our pack for quite a while. Yeah, see, so we need to go all the way over here, so we need to finish this area and then go up there later, so we won't be doing that quest today. But there's a quest over here in the wagon as well, from a little scroll, see? Let's zoom in just a titch. The Norwington Festival. To whomever receives this invitation, you are cordially invited to the 15th annual Norwington Equestrian and Hunt Festival. Oh, that's the opposite side of the sound as well, so we'll be hanging on to this one as well. People of all walks of life from across Kultiris shall gather to delight in life's greatest competitions, equestrianism and hunting, while meeting those of like minds and fine tastes. Hunting events shall start first, led by Abby Watkins in Fox Hollow Woods. They shall be followed by equestrian events at the Norwington Estate. We hope to see you there post haste. Meet Abby Watkins at the edge of Fox Hollow Woods. And again, that's on the opposite side of the sound, so we'll be holding on to this one for a while. But if we keep coming round, what are you cooking? I think you need to put the meat closer to the fire in order to cook it. I think that's a little bit far away. Uh, that guy's got a pan. Why don't you put the meat in the pan? Okay. I'll leave them to cooking their own food. Lead guide zip witch. No, it was lead guide zip wrench. An explosive opportunity. You there! Do I have the most amazing opportunity for you? A gnome called Wolford Fizzlebracket is on the eve of a breakthrough and could use an intrepid business partner that's on the brawnier side, such as a druid like yourself. Just follow the road east until you reach Fizz Springs Resort, the most fantastical wonder of nature. Wolford is the type that stands out from the crowd. Speak with Wolford Fizzbracket at the Fizz Springs Resort. OK, I'll do that then. So, where is that? That is just up the hill, so we want to head in just about that direction. Speak with Wolford. Right, so that's the one we want to go. So we go up the little hill here and over the bridge and around. Yeah, so this is kind of the following the path up and around, isn't it? Oh, there's a respawn. Hello, respawn! Tort jaw is a big turtle, and there's a herb right here too. Let's grab the herb. Right now, if I attack him, are all these yellow ones going to come after me? Oh, and that stag's going to come after me as well. Yes, I don't want to get everything in the neighbourhood all at once, do I? <laughs> The turtles, it's the spinning that's a problem, isn't it? Right, we want to get away because he's spinning. Now he's not spinning, now's the time to attack. And get away when he spins. So he did seem to move quite quickly there, so actually he was going to go spinning again. We want to, oh, I didn't have time to run away. Okay, that spinning is quite dangerous. And I think we've got some of the yellow, at least one of the yellow ones chasing us as well. Maybe I should have tried to freeze him in the spot, but it's, so it worked out alright. 
Now, is that all the one going to follow us? No, I don't think he is actually. So that was easier than I expected it to be. I thought that was going to be a lot harder. Right, let's get out of the water. So he's right by the waterfall. Let's bring that up on the map. So just here at the junction of the road, go over, going over the water, where the road goes. Then the junction between where the river is and where the road goes over the water. That's what I meant to say, right? So. And the path goes a bit further around here, and we're heading back to all this ice, aren't we? And that's where we were up there. That's where we were with Kennings, isn't it? I think it is. Right, so we're quite close to that location again. Here we go. Well, it's got like a sandwich board out the front. I don't think I can read that. Can I zoom in? And see what does it say? Is it? Does it say anything? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't uh, say anything in any way that I can see. What's it like in here? Oh, he's got a hearthstone board. Look, he's got a hearthstone board. Oh, bless. He's got a hearthstone board. So we're in another inn. The Inns of Tiragard Sound. That's what this should be called, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's not a bad looking place inside. There's not many beds, though. I think you need more beds if you're going to have visitors. Hi there. Give me a few months and I'll have this place whipped up into a six-star resort in no time. Well, you need some bedrooms and some little cabins that people can sleep in and stuff, I think. I got this uh, suggestion that I should come and help you uh, with an explosive opportunity. A willing assistant? Well, I can't turn you down now, can I? The beauty of marketing. While us fizz brackets may not be goblins, we still know a business opportunity when we see one. The resort staff is getting trained, the place is getting cleaned up, now all we need is some quality marketing. Wolford holds up a familiar looking box. Behold, the wondrous gnomish engineering feat that is the selfie camera. Now, if only there was a generous night elf willing to capture the radiance of this place. Make sure you look like you're enjoying yourself out there. Take selfies with the resorts, sites and wildlife and you will receive the over-engineered flashbulb, which is a trinket which will indeed be an upgrade. Enjoy the resort! And making mysteries. Do you know what people love? The unexplained. Problem is, everything here is explainable. So I have a plan to create our own phenomena. Oh, phenomena. No, no. Fee, no, anon. Oh dear. The, yeah, the jokes are definitely getting bad. Uh, these, there are stories that talk about some weird chicken snake hybrids that can turn you to stone. Sounds like a basilisk to me. I've already released the chickens, now we just need the snakes. Oh no, oh no, oh dear. This sounds like a bad idea, Wolford, it really does. The first problem can be solved easily. Just chase down the chickens and stick one of these robotic tails on them. Catch five unassuming chickens. Oh, face, palm, no. Put robotic chicken tails. Put robotic snake tails on chickens. Oh no! Remember, uh, don't feed the wildlife. How do you do? I didn't take that quest today. Subconsciously, I thought that is such a bad idea. I don't want to do it. Right, we've also got a bonus objective. This this Spring's resort needs to be cleaned up. Spring cleaning. Oh, it's a spring and it needs clean. Okay. But enough with the bad jokes. Enough with the bad jokes. There's a herb somewhere over here. Maybe that will distract me from all the bad things that are being punned at me. Right. What pictures does he want? Midland Stag, Geyser, Waterfall, Ruined Robot and a Rust Fur Wolf. Is that the Geyser? That's probably the Geyser. That is the Geyser, isn't it? Um not easy to get up on your walkways and things my friend yeah that's definitely the geyser and I've missed it erupting so his selfie pic what we want is the selfie cam and we need to position it so we can get the geyser erupting don't we beautiful we got the geyser erupting look there's a stag there but it's too far away to count 
for our picture so we have to get closer to them uh, and we also have to do that without the um, stag attacking us because the big middle and stags look are all red so they're going to attack us the second we get too close right so what's this a volatile bubble that counts towards the cleaning so a volatile bubble gives us three percent so we need oh you have planks that will count won't it yeah so we went from three takes so that's five percent for a plank probably don't want to stand on top of a geyser these water hissing swells they're going to count count towards the yep we're going to have to fight them I don't really want to get the... Oh, I got the turtle. This, the brutal slash, attacks multiple things, doesn't it? So that's going to mean that any of the yellow things get picked up by my attack at the same time. And it's kind of hard to not use these attacks, to be honest. So, um, well, they can do single target. And as you uh, gimping yourself to do less damage... more planks and he's attacking us so he's our next target now we saw a st oh the stags wandered off didn't they yes I saw a stag somewhere in that there's a stag now the thing is we want to get the stag but we yeah oh I was, just, I was just trying to say we want to get the stag but we don't want to get close enough to attack him but we got the picture before he attacked us so we got halfway to where we were hoping to be didn't we so that's good enough that's good enough for me oh there's a chicken mr chicken come back okay he's enough what's this rusted debris okay yeah that'll help us clean up uh, where did the chicken go Where did the chicken go? Oh, wolf. We need a picture of a wolf. Can I get that? Yay, wolf. Somebody's attacking me. Who is it? It's another one of the water elemental. Hissing swells. The polluted water elementals. That's what they seem to be, I think. Oh, there's a robot chicken. Robot chicken, come back, robot chicken, come back, robot chicken. Come here, Mr. Robot Chicken. Oh, I thought I caught him there. Ah, no, he went backwards. Stop. Got him. Oh, dear. Oh, put a tail on his poor little head. Poor little head. Not his head, his tail. <gasps> No, I'm going all the wrong way to go. <laughs> so we're putting robot tails on the poor little chickens. I'm sure they're really, really not going to be happy with that. There's, an there's another chicken. Can I sneak up on him? Hello, Mr. Chicken. Yeah, I'd run away if somebody stuck a robot tail on my tail as well. Uh, I don't really want to kill all the stags. Oh, another chicken. Chicken, Dutch. Chicken, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Get him. Right then. How are we doing? Right, we're at 40% of clean up. We've got three of our pictures. So I think we're doing quite well. I think we've just got a marker on our map for one of the other things we need to take a photograph of. Over here, look, ruined robot. So I think we want to head roughly this direction. 
Well, so let's pick up some of this clean up stuff on the way. And there's, there's no chicken up there. turned around so let's turn back so yes the marker is roughly that way but I saw a chicken chicken oh chicken 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 hey chicken 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 I think he's doing a circle so yes we caught him right so we want to head roughly this way So there's a herb here somewhere as well. There it is. There's the herb. Let's grab that on our way. Herbalism 104. Yes, we're slowly making our way up. Hello, Mr. Mountain Goat. Where have we found? Oh, it's a junkyard. Ah, the, I think the robot's outside the junkyard. Oh, quests. And that is the ruined robot isn't it? Right, so if I use that for my actually if I take that for that and then that for Hunter, the quest I've got a very specific list of things I need you to capture oh. in a shot Hey! Clearly noticeable. I can't use it. The ruined robot is extremely noticeable silly boy what does it mean it's not noticeable? How could it be more noticeable than that, huh? It covered the entire shot. Parin Tinklocket. Hello, Parin. What have we got going on here? Before you ask, yes, I tried knocking on the door. No, nothing happened. <laughs> There's no door to knock on. Inspection gadget. Some time ago, a good friend of mine who had a tinker shop in Boralus just stopped all correspondence. With the state of foreign affairs, I wasn't able to look for him myself until recently. It's not just him. It seems that all of the gnomes that were living in the city just up and vanished. I've decided to start my search with these ruins, but the machines here have gone haywire. Could you go get a good magnetic reading on the place? Survey the rusted vault. Apparently I can't. We'll have to remember that you're here and come back later because uh, my quest log is full and that means I can't do your quest right now. So what I do need to do is finish the spring cleaning objective and find the other spot there he needs his... Uh, oh, chicken. Yep. Yay, that's my five chickens. So we need to do a bit of cleaning up so that, and find the waterfall and then once we've done the cleaning up and the waterfalls then we can go back to Parin and do his quest which we'll probably be doing in the next episode I think because this might be getting a little bit long. Right, how are we doing with uh, 88? Right, where's the final? Oh, is the waterfall the waterfall where we attacked the rare spawn? I think it might be. Right, if I stand right next to it, am I going to be too close to it to actually get it in? Nope, they're happy with that. Cool. So I think we need to get... Oh, herb. River bird. Cool. Right, let's get back into the zone for the clean-up and finish the clean-up. Oh, there's another herb here somewhere. You know, will this count? Because I think we're outside the area, but the... Oh no, it still did count, right. Let's grab that. Oh, it's not a herb, it's a um, fishing pool. Right, we're not going to do any lots of fishing in the middle of trying to do our levelling up. We'll do the fishing later. You are flying. Yes, I know I'm flying. I'm a bird. It tends to be that if you're a bird, you fly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being a bit... I'm in a bit of a funny mood today, aren't I? Alright, let's... um. 
What else do we need to do for his clean up? Clean up. Let's turn these quests in. I think we've done work for this quest. The beauty of marketing. If your smile isn't at least half of the picture, I don't want to see it. <laughs> these are perfect. You look dashing. Now I need to figure out how to get these out to our target consumers. He said customers, but I thought consumers was better. Uh, stupendous. Now we can start calling our resort tour a mystery safari. Oh dear, we just need 2% to finish that off, but we do need to, to uh, take our... Right, let's move some of the items that are good. Oh, so I've got a letter that needs to be moved, and the rest I think is now sellable. So we've put on our new trinket, and I think if, uh, these are all sellables. Right, there we go. So we need 2% for this thing, and then if we go next to Parin... Uh, we'll do his quests in the next episode. Alright, so what do I need? I need 2%. There's got to be something simple to pick up, hasn't there? There's a ball, ball here. That's, uh... There we go. All done. Right, now I've just got to try and remember where Parian was. He's somewhere over in this direction, isn't he? Yep, there's the giant robot. Ah. Oh no, now I've turned the quests in. He's disappeared. Oh, I can't do them now. Oh dear, did I just blow my chance at doing the quest? Or am I, Oh no, I'm on the wrong side of the... Oh, it's alright, I'm on the wrong side of the hill. There we go. So there's Parin. So what we'll do is we'll do his quests in the next episode. And maybe some of these rare spawns around here as well. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy games!